If any of you checked out my first post, it was how to get into teaching and I laid out all the different um, opportunities there available and the ones I think are best. And so I personally think that if you can, get the ball rolling with all of them. I asked my school what they were offering so I could check there. I applied to UCAS and kind of had a look around, submitted my profile and looked at the different options and I applied to teach first. And I kind of had a preference order for how they provide, for what they provided. And obviously Teach First was right up there. I loved their mission. I loved what they stood for and I loved their training package that they provided and the support they gave. So that was all around perfect for me. Schools Direct was um, another great option, but I, kind of really wanted to get a PGCE and I didn't want to pay for any tuition fees so I didn't want to get another student loan and it was a bit harder to find schools close to me that I could apply to that were offering everything I wanted so I kind of left that a little bit and had my application there ready to go and was researching and then my school came back and said that their training provider only offered QTS and not a PGCE so I thought you know what I'm not gonna go here I'm gonna try and see if I can pursue teach first and luckily they were very quick with doing my application so the application kind of worked for teach first and i'm going to explain because that's the route i went on is i filled out their forms and it was five questions kind of just stating how you've done this what you think about this and kind of about 200 to 300 words that you filled in kind of just say, stating some experiences you've had where you had to deal with this um, and then some personal information and they took all of that and they invited me to the assessment day so the assessment day was basically uh, a solo interview, a group interview, a feedback session, and I had to teach a four minute lesson um, twice, which was a bit, bit, bit nerve wracking. How do you teach something in four minutes? Um, it was kind of crazy. And so I applied for English in London, which was also um, a quite, I think, an oversubscribed when I was there. I was like, oh, what are you here to teach? They're like, English, London. I said, like, oh my gosh, everyone's doing this. Um, and so that was my application to teach first. And it was, a, it was a very extensive day. I was exhausted by the end of it. And they really focus on, can you take uh, feedback and apply it and change what you're doing and respond to the feedback basically? And can you take it well? Can you like, self-evaluate? Like, what did you do well, do you think? And they'll ask you these questions. And they're really looking to see how you can respond because obviously you're gonna have to adapt and change and you're gonna get so much feedback that if you can't handle it and you can't adapt, then you're gonna really struggle um, as a teacher. And there are like lots of observations and whatnot. So I think they were really looking for that in the process. Uh, there was a lot of moments to kind of reflect. They wanted you to write things down. How do you feel you did? What could you have done better? And they wanted you to talk about that. They also gave you two things where they would give you specific feedback that they wanted to see you act upon. So if you're going for a Teach First application day, that that for me was what they were looking for. They didn't really, there were no questions about my experiences. It was kind of, what would you do in this situation? Um, or like looking for how I would tackle and problem solve. Um, and if you look at all of their, their competencies and what they look for, what they pride themselves on, it, it's leadership, problem solving, working as a team, and those kind of things. After that, I kind of had looked at all the options and I was really quite, looking forward to hoping that I would get on Teach First. However, there was a small caveat which could derail my entire, I don't know, my entire plan. And I'm, I'm an optimistic planner, but the caveat was that they called me and they said, do you know what, you've applied for English in London and this is a very um, oversubscribed role, so we're not sure if you would kind of get the place. We've got filled a lot of places. I applied in like December or January or something. And so they were like, you know what, it might not happen. So would you be prepared to relocate? And obviously this was a really big thing. Like I was settled at home, I had friends. Um, I enjoyed like kind of where I was. I was involved in lots of extra social stuff. Um, and so I didn't kind of want to relocate. And obviously this is where you're like, do I take my career thing or do I search my other options? And so this is where I was quite glad I had the ball rolling and I had the information about the other avenues because if this didn't work out and they said, oh, we want you to relocate to Leeds, I'd be really kind of uninclined to take that. So that was what they said. And so I'm gonna leave you there with that. I hope you tune in for the next one and follow, keep following my journey. If you're enjoying this and you're interested in finding out more, hit subscribe, hit the like button, um, leave any comments and I'll, I'll get back to you. But that Teach First application, it, it's extensive. You've gotta think about what you're doing. You've gotta prepare, make sure you prepare. 
And of course, if you're interested in finding more, I've written a blog post about this, so you can go and read up on that and get a few extra details.